As far as we can tell, this appears to be the cheapest solar build-out in the history of the planet. And records just keep getting shattered. It's like every month we're seeing new solar contracts for the lowest prices in history. What does this mean? Well, this is actually the lowest price for energy in the history of mankind. Very, very literally. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Viking. I've been going on and on for a long time about the very, very low cost of solar. Now, I said that two years ago when I started this channel, but solar now is far, far cheaper than it was back then. In fact, it's around about 40% cheaper today than what it was when I started the channel, which is not very long ago. That is ridiculous. Now, the world's biggest solar park is getting its sixth edition. It's basically a solar city. It's a solar farm. It'll power an entire mega city in the United Arab Emirates, which is obviously uh, the kingdom of oil. But um, in interestingly, this area, Saudi Arabia, UAE, etc., is while well, they've made very vocal statements saying the future of oil is um, it's changing. We're changing to renewable energy. And that's exactly what's happening here. You wouldn't think of the Middle East as being a place transforming faster than many Western nations to renewables. The United Arab Emirates government-owned renewable energy company called Mazda has been awarded the contract to build the 1.8 gigawatt six phase of the mammoth Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park. And that was quite a mouthful. I'm glad I got that pretty much right. So this is the cheapest contract for solar in history. This is a 1.8 gigawatt solar park, which will end up being even bigger than that. And these are record low prices. So what was the price? The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority awarded the contract to itself. Well, not really, but to a government company over the weekend as the preferred bidder with the lowest bid. The bid was $16.24 per megawatt hour. That's US dollars, $16.24. That means the cost is around, around about 2% lower than the previous lowest contract in history. This marks the lowest levelized cost of energy for any of DEWA's solar projects under its independent power producer model. And as far as I can tell, this is the lowest cost of energy ever in history. By 2030, Diwa expects that the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park will boast a total capacity of a massive 5 gigawatts. Currently, a total capacity of 2,500 megawatts has been commissioned, with completion of the sixth phase to increase total capacity to nearly 5 megawatts. Now, of course, that's peanuts in comparison to the gigawatts that are going to be built out in this area. It's really hard for the brain to understand just how big this mammoth solar and renewable energy hub will be. It will easily power a city of millions of people. The solar park is located 50 kilometers south of the city and Emirate of Dubai in the UAE. This is an integral part, says reneweconomy.com.au, of the larger Dubai net zero carbon emission strategy of 2050 to provide 100% of Dubai's total power capacity from clean energy sources by that date. Now, 100% by 2050, it sounds, to be honest, like it seems not really all that ambitious. I think they'll probably achieve that target closer to 2035 based on what they're currently doing. But I mean, I could be wrong. However, if you look at the incredibly low cost of solar and the fact that Really, the most important part of this equation, which is having the batteries to store the massive amounts of solar produced during the day in mega hot climates such as the Middle East, is the most important part. Then the declining cost of batteries and the improved energy density, but not only the improved energy density and declining cost, but also the fact we're getting more and more cycle life, more and more battery life out of the same cells than what we ever used to, means that batteries are coming down in price significantly. And that is the most important part of the renewable energy equation. According to Diwa, the share of clean energy in Dubai's energy mix is sitting at around 16.3% of total installed capacity and will increase to 24% by 2026 with completion of the sixth phase of this mega solar park. Now, I actually made a video about an insane part of this project, the solar park, 
if you've been watching the channel, you might've seen that. It's absolutely ludicrous. News of the next phase of the world's largest solar park comms says renew economy just over a month after the UAE, the much criticized host of the next COP28 climate talks has announced it will triple its renewable energy capacity by the end of the decade in a US $54 billion investment plan that will target green hydrogen production. Now this solar park spread over a very large area. It'll be spread over a 77 square kilometer area and will end up being the world's largest renewable project site. Besides solar farms using PV technology, the long-term project will also include concentrating solar power or CSP and battery storage. The 200 megawatt second phase of this project actually drew global attention and really a lot of media hype as the winning bid of the tender set a new low record tariff of only US $5.89 per kilowatt hour. That's about 20% lower than any previous unsubsidized power purchase agreement that the world had ever seen before. The PPA is set to a 25 year time frame. Now what is most staggering is that after that broke the world record a while back, well, this one now is significantly cheaper than that original phase, approximately 20%. That, my friends, in my opinion, is the future of the world. I see this happening all across Asia, all across places like Africa. It is already happening in particular in Northern Africa, where they plan on actually exporting energy using mega cables to Europe and also in many other hot regions around the earth. Now, the reality is here that most of the world's population actually lives in the Sun Belt. So this is why solar, in my opinion, and battery storage is the solution that we need. Now, I keep getting emails from people saying, no, 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 you're wrong. Renewables won't work. It's nuclear. We have to have nuclear. Uh, you, know, you need to do some research on this stuff. I think I have actually, but guys, maybe I'm missing something. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.